today we need to get this drive shaft done. First, I need to get changed. Bit of a strange start to the video, but I thought, why not try something different? Anyway, as you can see, you're in the van. It's a very windy day, so I apologize in advance if there's any bad wind noises. I'm going to try my best to put you guys out of the wind. Today's video is the driver's side drive shaft. It's making an hell of a noise. I thought it was a ball joint, but it turns out it's the outer CV joint. Um, I think I've done a video of the noise it makes, so I'll put that in here. I know you can re-grease and refurb the CVs, but luckily enough, I know a guy who breaks these vans and he had one kicking about. He said, chuck us 20 quid, problem solved. So I thought, why not? Let's put a whole new drive shaft in. Hopefully it's good. We'll find out the hard way. I've never done a drive shaft on especially a van. So I'm pretty I know how to do it. It's just I've never done it. So I'm gonna take you along with me. Hopefully I help someone. But this is it here. This is the part here on mine that's making all the noise. The outer CV. Hopefully this one's okay. I do have the bolt that goes into the hub and just six bolts this end which goes into the gearbox i'm gonna give that a bit of a clean before i put it in but first i need to jack this up get that wheel off and see where we're going so let's just get on with this all you're gonna really need for this job is is a jack an axle stand you're gonna need a 13 for the under tray a 21 for the drop link and suspension a 27 for the axle bolt or drive shaft bolt and 18 to get the top mount for the strut out to give you a bit more access an m12 multi-spline to get the bolts out of the end of the drive shaft some sort of a breaker bar ratchet extensions i also have these comes in a kit like this got all the different allen keys it's got all the different allen keys and what have you you do need i think this is a 10 size 10 allen key that's for the bottom of the ball joint as well to get that out screwdriver i just use that to get that ball joint separated hammer i think that's about it really quite an easy job well got it all jacked up again this thing loves being jacked in the air an expert at it now, but I'm going to show you now. There you go. That is the CV right and that's just me wiggling it with my hand. So there's something in here, but once we get it off, probably take it apart and we'll inspect it. But I bought some tools love buying tools and were relevant things to buy well this is my ratchet i always use and it's been slipping recently i think some of the teeth are gone on the inside of it so i upgraded got me a new one 72 tooth i think it is but it's also extendable always wanted one of these and now's a good time to upgrade as i do need it so got me this Saves me buying a breaker bar as well. Obviously, I'm not going to use it as a breaker bar, but it just gives you that extra little bit of leverage. So there's that. Also got a load of these. And got me this bad boy. 27 mil spanner. I wonder if I can show you, actually. It's what you use for that torsion bolt. That's what I was using. An adjustable, which I cut the end off, and then I was using the end of the jack stand put on the end of there to give me the leverage so that's less sketchy now also bought a 27 mil socket not for that reason because that is the size of the bolt goes on the end of the drive shaft or axle depends on what you call it but also doubles up as i've now got a socket to undo and do up the torsion bar so every cloud all up on jack stands, wheels underneath, jack still there, not all the way up, it's just there just in case. What we need to do now, or what I think we need to do now, is 
undo this bolt here which holds the bottom of the strut that's the drop link and i think we're gonna have to undo this bottom ball joint down here get this wishbone separated so i can move it down get this hub out the way obviously undo this bolt at the end of the axle and i should be able to get this end of the hub out and then in there i'll take this under tray off there should be six bolts underneath there which you undo and get that one off and then put that one on so let's start attacking this shall we well i've now got the end of the tray off and we can now have a better look at the drive shaft so obviously we've got it coming along here and then apparently i've got a lovely little oil leak that gives me something to do but there you can see where it connects oops sorry it comes along here and then it connects just there which are where those bolts are on the other one and then we've got another little bit of a drive shaft stubby bit which goes into the gearbox so it's right here i need to disconnect oops sorry right here i need to disconnect i've got all these bolts on here first of all obviously take this part apart i'm gonna go get my other jack but take this bolt out here for the bottom of the strut and the drop link and this bottom ball joint get this lot apart get this wishbone moved out the way and then we can get this hub out sorry then we can get the drive shaft out the hub then so i'm gonna go get my jack hot take the weight of this lot start pulling this lot apart well i just sat down to have a cup of tea because that's what we always do when we want to think and i don't think i'm gonna actually have to undo those bolts like i thought because now i've undone that if i undo the shock and the drop link one the whole wishbone should pivot out of the way so i think yeah i don't see why that wouldn't work so now i've obviously undone this that is the top of the ball joint is actually connected to the hub and the wishbone is now just connected by here so if i undo this i should be able to move the whole wishbone down and out of the way so that's now the plan i'm gonna get the other jack underneath this take all this lot apart and hopefully get this wishbone out of the way i think i might undo this or just crack it off real quick that's all undone now need to undo that nut to 21 mil what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave a little rundown of all the tools i used in this so if you don't have it you can go out and buy it <coughs> or at least you know um let's put a, oh, a spanner on the other end just in case like that it spins you can there we go just put a second jack just underneath just to take some of the weight and then there's that out i just use an extension just to hammer that through just makes life a bit easier there's now nothing technically holding the wishbone on other than that uh, you'll probably find that that thread is ever so slightly tapered so you're probably gonna have to give a wishbone a bit of a hit get it down so let's try that scratch idea that isn't coming off it's not it's tape is on there well so rather than fighting that i'm just going to undo these bolts or these allens there's one there one there either side and then hopefully i can just drop that whole ball joint down and then get that out of the way that way it's not quite as easy as i thought so that allen is a 10 so make sure you get that in there nicely make sure it's nice and seated use the persuader if you ever need to you gotta make sure it's in there nice and secure and undo one two got a jack just underneath the brake disc 
Just to hold it, I'm gonna try and hammer this part out. I don't know if this is the right way. Let's see if it works. There we go. Apparently it comes out a lot easier if it's not at an angle because this is wobbling its bollocks off now. Probably just as easy if you leave our bottom bolt on and just undo those two top ones there. Take this bolt out of here. There we go. That seems like it may have done it. And there's that half of the drive shaft out. Not sure if you guys managed to see that. There it is. All I done was threaded this in just a couple of turns. And then it gave me something to hammer on just to hammer that out of the splines on there. So there's one half of my drive shaft. Now I need to undo the other half. Just remember, this is obviously look. This is now just hanging by itself. So just make sure that you do support. You do support all this with a jack or something. Else it's gonna flap everywhere. Right to undo these bolts up here, they are M12. One of these multi spline, I don't know what they're called, but one of them. Well, I removed my shock just so I can get in here a bit better and then just go around and undo it all, I guess. Well, that's all the bolts taken out. Oh, there we go, straight out. Jesus Christ. This is the endless bad. The outer CV. Put that there. And that's where it all connects to up inside of there. And then you've got, I don't know what they call that, but it's like a stubby bit which goes from there. That's where the old one went to into the gearbox. So let's get this lot all reconnected. Oh. Oh, actually that harder job. For some reason I expected that to be a lot harder than it was. <sighs> right, I'm going to have two minutes. And then we're going to smash this lot back together. Well, hopefully you guys can see enough. But I am just going to try and slap this all back together again. So... <sighs> well, that's all tight in there now. And... If you sit like this with a hub and then look straight back, you can get to, obviously I can't get in there with a the camera very well, but you can get to all the bolts. And then if you move the dry shaft like over here and over here, you can get to, oh, hang on. You can get to all the bolts quite nicely. Hey, okay, see, so you can get to all these bolts just by moving this around a bit and get to everything nice and comfortably. Just move it as needed. So that part's done. That needs to go in there now, somehow. So, yeah, this should be fun. What I'm going to try and do is lower the jack down, put, try and get that in there, and then use the bolt. There we go. Not quite sure how much of that you managed to see, but that's now pushed in. If you look from this side, if you can see, you can see just about him. Once I put that bolt in there and pull it, that should hold it nice and tight in there. So get this tight. Well, that's about as tight as I can get that for now, as you can see. And then we'll click him, I'm going to get the suspension back in, get the bolt all back through for the hub so it can all hold itself back in. Then I can tighten this bolt up a bit better. But, I'm quite pleased with that. They're all tight back there. Yeah, literally. That clicking's just this lot. See? 
process where it's not quite in properly but yeah so let's get this strut back in something i did forget i need to put this ball joint back in so it shouldn't be too much of a problem but yeah don't forget to do your ball joint i haven't actually put the strut back in i've just put that bolt on that side the drop link is still not connected yet so i need to get this ball joint put back on because i forgot it Best thing I found to do, jack the wishbone up from out there, locate where the bolts go roughly in there, thread them up, and then jack the jack up until you can see it starting to push. That was uh, a bit harder than I expected. Obviously I've got to put that bolt back on, but while I got the jack here, I'm going to obviously jack it up a bit more so I've got enough room to do this up. Well, to be honest, I'm not quite sure how much you've seen of that. I kind of got carried away. But I've now tightened this bolt, the axle bolt up. Strut's obviously all back in. The bolt that holds the bottom of the strut and the drop link's all back in. All of these ball joint ones are back in. Absolute pain in the ass, if you can see. This drive shaft doesn't wobble or make a noise like the old one did. So, fixed. Have definitely fixed that. Um, need to get that under tray back on. And while I'm here, I am going to adjust the suspension on this side. Um, using that torsion bolt because I didn't do it last time I was there. Might as well do it while I got it all jacked up. Yeah, quite pleased with that. Yeah, so I'm going to get this under tree back on. And I'll come back to you once I've got the wheel back on and probably lower, lowering it. And that there is a job well done. All done. All my tools are even put away. Last thing to do is lower this back down. What I think I pretty much on it. What I am going to do is I'm going to obviously it doesn't actually sit that high. I'm going to leave it to settle for a minute. I'm going to adjust this side again, just so it's all sat nice again. But that is how you change a drive shaft. Oh. Make sure they're tight. That is how you change the drive shaft. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So I'm very pleased and it doesn't click and bang. I'm going to take it for a test drive in a bit. Obviously I want to clean up, I want to adjust that suspension a bit, but very happy with that. I think one of the next videos is going to be my interior. Because a couple of weeks ago, me and my daughter took this all out, ready to put wood, uh, wood up on the floors and the ceilings. But I can't get it for love nor money. So I'm going to put it all back together again for now. But I want to run my leisure battery and sort my wiring and stuff out. And then hopefully I'll be able to get that wood at some point. So I'll have to wait and see. But I need to get that leisure battery wired in. <sighs> Loads to do. We'll get there in the end. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for all the interaction I've been getting. Um, if you're not already following me on Instagram, go follow me there. I've just gone over a thousand followers. So thank you for that. Um, it's uh, the name's probably on the screen somewhere. It's the same as this Prance project. But I just want to thank you for that. Thank you for all the interaction on on here and all the new followers. Thank you all so much. Um, I'm gonna get gone, get cleaned up. So that's pretty much the end of it. If you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go hit that subscribe button and take it easy, guys. Yeah.